Hello, welcome back to End of Fate 2. Let the day let's go no, not for the endless. I may go for the endless in the stream one day. Not today. Hello worse. Because why not? My mind has been honed by years oh, of constant you. meditation and focus. I am perfected as a shape for the world to flow through. This is why I was worthy of the game, and it is why Callus is not. He never will be, for he lacks the discipline. You do like that one, don't you? Yeah. If you mean the bitter cold, yes, I like it. I also this one. Um, Huh. I have no idea what goal would be. And that like it's Osman's lover will send an army of skeletons to bring him back. If Shrekful is he is with you, Osman will eat one food every step if he is injured. Crowd control dominate a fight with artifacts. Who sides against <laughs> What's good against that skeletons? Oh, the standard sword. In the darkness of my temple, I labored upon this game, devoted to its mysteries, plundering its secrets, crafting it anew for every foe who faced me. If I have ever loved, it is the love of service to a greater ideal. And that is how we fell in love. In retrospect, the potatoes had nothing to do with it. I merely wish to speak of their starchy beauty. Three months ago, you came into the company of Oswin, the potato farmer. He had grabbed your arm and explained that his beloved wanted to send him to the final death, so that they could be together in eternity. His desperate eyes and the promise of his family's magical sword convinced you to accompany him. Now you walk the road to, to his village, where he claims that he will be safe from his dearest sweet potato. The former knows of the rural potato coin's life. Could it be McKean on the way to the Nightshade Corpse? Almost has it, he has made some kind of explosion ball. A scribble a note on the map. The farmer crunches thoughtfully on a potato. Uh, is visiting your uncle necessary? No, oh, but he tends to get quite crabby if I don't visit while I'm in this area. Okay, what will happen to his farm? Oh, my farm isn't here. It's a nightshade corpse where we're heading. I was merely visiting this city for the region's the annual wood vegetable festival. Okay, let's go. You wonder just how easy it will be to keep Oswin alive. Goblins, they get in everywhere. <laughs> you arrive at an overturned cart propped up by a large lob. Well, here we are, as we knocks on the top of the cart. Uncle, it's Oswin. A goblin, probably disguised as a human, scurries out from behind the cart. You know, no surprise on either Oswin nor the goblin's face. Oswin, my boy, have you come to see my exploding doodads? And before anybody can agree and pro or protest, the goblin. Oh, uh, and before anybody can agree or protest, the goblin pulls a lit bomb from his rope and flings it into the forest. The bomb explodes spectacularly against a boulder. You there! The goblin squeaks up at you. Watch out for monster! This forest is simply rife with them. Taps his staff upon the ground, and undead begin to crawl from a sprawling portal. The goblin gives you. Genial smile as he places a bomb in your hand. He pats Oswin on the arm and then jumps into the portal of Voidal. <laughs> Holy bomb. Throw a bomb that causes 80 damage to undead enemies. Okay. The portal closes, leaving you surrounded by the walking dead, holding a bomb, and with a potato farmer at your side. Wait, I thought he took Oswin with him. Interesting. Okay, how do I use those? I think... 
No, no, give me a second. Give me a second. Oh my god. No, give me a second because I have no idea. Artifact. I pressed right bumper. Yeah. Oh, uh, save was good. Hold it, okay. No, you. Oh my goodness. Uh, right bumper. Oswin, stay back! I'll take this guy. I pressed my bumper before, I don't know why it didn't work. Hmm. I'll take that! Oswin's uncle appears behind you without a sound, taking the curiously enchanted bomb from your hand and replacing it with a near identical one. That's for your the flim flam of holy men. Do with it as you will. He then gives you both a forceful pinch on the trick and disappears under the overturned cart. Oswin seems wholly unperturbed by the happenings. He continue on your journey. Not the most reliable of companions, it would have to be said. You wake one night to the sound of Oswin's muffled screams. The undead surround the potato farmer. They appear to be attempting a kidnapping, but are doing a shambolic job of it. One skeleton is shoving a cloth in Oswin's mouth, while another swings the sword wildly. Oh my god! Um. Of course. With the thud of a rusted shield against the temple, you black out. When you come to Oswin and his skeletal kidnappers are gone. Okay. Oswin's time is limited. Terrible things stand between you and your quest. You no. Know, you find Oswin being dragged towards an open tomb by a sailor of skeletons. Oh well. Wait, Osman can do something? He has some... No, I think he just dies. No, you don't. Stay now. You are much through the bones before anything of yours. Thank you. Oh, it has been its good against Northerners and this one. Bash 50 enemies as they block from Logos Shard. After every encounter with a gun, date with a one random encounter here and there. Hardly elegant, but possibly effective. Oswin pokes a pile of bones. It's quite nice that she'd send all this to get me back. He looks quite pleased for a moment for remembering that the skeletons were trying to kill him. You keep a close eye on the potato farmer. Surely you think he won't get kidnapped again. <laughs> yeah, sure. Knowing what is in front of you allows you to pick a safe path through the wilds. We will see about that. <laughs> the wilds are welcoming. They're bound to plentiful. A delightful aroma leads you to a troop of herd morals. Use them to prepare a nourishing meal. What? Wait, wait, wait. It was a failure. The game often offers you a choice. Sometimes they are both poor choices, however. While roaming the dark alleyways of the capital, you see a suspicious group traveling in your direction. They are tracking a locked chest behind them, its contents unknown. In another direction, you spy an item glinting in the moonlight. However, you notice a number of shadowy forms lurking in an alley nearby. Mm, let's go against the invisible enemies. You approach the man with the chest. They drop their cargo and throw their blade, saying, Sly said, no witnesses. I am a witness. I'm just trying to escort these potato eater.
Okay, he doesn't do anything. No. Hey, 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 don't touch him. Is this his ability? Everything tries to kill him. Just in case you were wondering about Frank. Oh, really? I thought he said. Okay. The custodians defeated you break open the lock chest. Thank you. You notice a second compartment in the bottom of the chest. Oh god damn it. Please. Thank you. You find some equipment hidden in the secret compartment. Oh, well, it's better. And there is a shop. Yeah, we might. Let's see, can I sell something? Oh no, not really. Who does charge bash because it's confused? Okay, I would confuse that. Require 75 and bash 50 enemies as a block. And this one so it was 25 northern, so it won't happen. And let's see, do they have something nice? Hmm. Okay. I must call these fortunes. One failure card glows, nice. And if Food is ever the driving force behind success. Vegetables spill from baskets and the air has a cozy smell of fresh baked bread and butter. Oswin immediately wanders off. God damn it, Oswin! You spot Oswin trading a fistful of gold from meager sack of vegetables. The store owners are very clearly bandits. They chuckle and count the coins, not believing their luck. Oswin tries to jam a potato in a sack already full to bursting. He looks up and gives you a little wave. You worry about the road ahead. Yep. Friends will get you in trouble. I know. There is a reason I prefer to travel alone. Yet here we are, making this journey together. God damn it, Oswin! I know his time is on. Yes, okay, nothing happened. Will to find yourself in stable. But I know I have I have no person. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Weapons bristle from the trees around you, their wilderness faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Screw you. You're gonna die. Trying to hit them before they attack. I would, I really don't. It just so happens. Yeah. I said, you're the one that, you're the ones that gonna die. With the court subdued, the defugs plead for their lives. Please, for pity's sake, we only want to feed our families. What else would you have us to do? Um, give me your spoils. Nothing like carrying an aura of mm. purity unearned to give the game away. Love was always difficult. This seems more trouble than you might expect, however. 
Wait, I want to see what was that exactly. Uh, inspect? Okay. The skeletons are enemy to drain life from enemies around them. That's good, yes. Okay, no, we don't have enough fame. You find Oswin surrounded by bandits, swinging his pitchfork wildly and threatening to use their tail bones to, to till the farm. Hmm. Okay, you're getting there, Oswin. You may be as threatening as a child, but you're getting there so you can show it up Oh god damn it, he already went for him. Really? At least he has a lot of health. Oh I missed. Okay, so that's how it works. In case. Where is he? Nope. I just. Okay. Oh, and it appears that I can only use it once for combat. That's interesting. You search the bodies for anything of use. That's very useful. That's the tool. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I may change it because it has only one defense. Keep a, cl a close eye on the potato farmer. Surely you think he won't get hit up. Yeah, he will get hit up again. I have no. No! Oh. You run into Oswin's goblin and he beckons you over to a tree stump. As you approach, he places two items side by side on the stump. One will make your enemies your friends, the other is poison. Which shall you drink? Quickly, quickly, quickly! Just there is a there is a bomb and a bottle in there. Marked poison. Uh, eat the bomb. Many are traitors in their hearts. If you know men, you know betrayal. The goblin watchers expectantly into you feign drinking the bomb. Satisfied with the proceedings, the old goblin gives you a little wave and climbs up a nearby tree. A band of skeletons emerges from the thicket. Wait, can I? Oh, I can change it now. I want to see how it works. Unless it doesn't. Oh, those are better skeletons? Oh, four! You know what? Oh my god, okay, okay, it works. You continue your journey, wondering how you'll get you'll next encounter Oswin's goblin uncle. Yeah, don't wanna know. Show me your wares, please. Oh, there's something about the tree. You know, companion deal 200% damage and enemies and 25% less. Hmm. And this one defeat 15 thieves with the finish right on the token is gonna be rough. Oswin disappears briefly and returns with potato paste. <laughs> you watch him take a bite with gusto. Aye! A groat echoes across the end. A hulking northerner grabs your companion by the arm. That was my paste, pasty little Ned. Oh. The potato farmer looks up at his furious assailant. 
then down to the crispy far warm pastry. Do you expect exasperation? He appears to be considering eating it anyway. Let's try calming him now. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, that's that turned out great. That will set you in good stead from here. You cobble together a speech linking the liberty of the pastry with the freedom of those in the Empire willing to stand up and take it. The northerners have moved are moved to tears. One grabs your face in his enormous gnarled hands and blesses you with a gentle headbutt. Thank you! Oh that's so sweet. You rest a while before continuing your journey. Oh. God damn it. Oh, they are trying to keep that thing. Uh, continue. You quickly rise to your feet and draw your weapon. You know? Helmet works. Okay, um, the right of the bat, let's throw it. That's hell of useful. Really, I may keep the last bomb. The boss. You rummage through the bones for anything of use. Hmm. No, I hoped for anything else. Uh, actually, this will be better right now. Thank you. Some food? No. You run into Oswin's goblin uncle, he beckons you over to a tree stump. The goblin reaches out over your head. An artifact, if you will. Uh, I'll just give him this. Yep. He bashes the artifact a few times with his staff, then shakes it vigorously by his ear as if listening for anything amiss. The artifact makes a warning, rattling sound as he does it. Then, without warning, the old goblin flings the artifact back at you, smacking into your shoulders. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Yep. Goodbye, dear one, the old goblin says, bowing deeply. He sits back down on the nearest tree stump and proceeds to pointedly ignore you. On the edge of the empire, far from the capitalist mill, offer them gold. The soldiers are desperate. For only a few coins, they will invite you to climb the tower and survey the countryside before crossing the border. Hey, you hand over some coins and climb the tower. You look to east and west. This is useless. You turn your gaze to the north and south. The nobility continues to reward itself and the rich become yet more wealthy. The palace armory is holding a special promotion for the nobility. The guards bow to you as you enter. Welcome! You will be pleased with what we have in store for you today. The stormman presents you with a trunk filled with equipment. A fee of 10 gold will allow you to enter our promotion. Fine. You reach into the trunk and take a piece. How much is that one worth, Brian? The stormman asks his assistant. Its value is for 24 gold, says Brian. Thank to you, the stormman explains. You may continue to draw, but if your next item is of lower value than the previous one, you leave with nothing. Or you can walk away at any time. A time of what you've got. The choice is yours. Uh, I'll take that. Thank you. Perhaps we shall be we shall be less risk averse next time. Hmm. Ryan remarks dryly as you leave with your item. It did cost twenty points. A lot. I think. And berserker crap is nice. Oh, for fuck's sake, Oswin! As you sigh, as another platoon of skeletons drags Oswin away into the forest. He seems somewhat resigned at it now, not struggling so much. I already forgot which one is it. We draw. Okay, I see. And um, this one. God damn it! With a thud of rusty shield against the temple, they black out. 
Yeah, yeah. He will keep getting himself in trouble. I know. Stop wasting my food. Really? Hmm. Used to defend those in need. Is that so? Always win! Oh, that's really nice. They are literally killing themselves. No, oh my goodness. I try it is tricky. Get around that. Lost. Artifacts like these represent a chance to turn the tides. You wonder how it's possible that somebody would want to kill us with this much, even if it's out of love. You keep a close eye on the potato farmer. Okay, let's Stop see. and see what Oswin has to say, perhaps. A small peasant family joining into the capital joins your campfire. She has the most beautiful face, you know, and in the evening we talk about until the sun came up, also breaks down into something sub. <laughs> Let's see. I will buy some food. Because we need to use two to heal us win. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, doesn't matter. Kill him. He will kill himself. Greetings, fellow traveler! A cheerful fellow clad in a brilliant yellow sword coat passes you on the road one day. May I just say that that is simply divine? I had similar one once long ago. He pulls out a hefty scroll. I've been documenting every nook and cranny of this beautiful land, and my soul is shaking with delight at the thought of sharing it with you. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're going straight for the end. May your vistas be breathtaking and your tree climbing be no little. With an enthusiastic wave, the man shoulders his heavy work sack and continues his journey, Whistl whistling all the while. The final reunion. How fitting and how sweet. With a shout of relief, Oswin announces that Nitrate Corpse is just over the hill. The village looks abandoned. The sky darkens, in the town square stands a beautiful woman, her skin grey and mottled. You feel a sudden chill in the air. The woman's voice grates and hisses as if long amused. Dear Soswin, you have come for me. Entrance, the potato farmer takes a step, grabbed by his shoulder, breaking the spell. The woman squints in your direction. Oswin, who is this? Your companion looks to you, still in a daze. You notice that somehow he is clutching a potato. Oswin grips the potato in both hands. He looks back at his lover in, defi in defiance. This is my friend. A heartbroken screech wretches from the woman and she doubles over in pain. Horrified, you watch as her face twists and hollows and her limbs lengthen until before you stand a shade, thrilling with fury. The ghostly figure lifts her arms and she begins to rise into the air. That went creepy very fast. Oh, Smith's lover. It is a ref? Riffs can train life on an unavoidable spell, attack them quickly to spots. So stop the effect. Okay. That quickly is up. Huh? 
Okay, I can. Oh, fuck. Can I decline it? No, I can't. Oh! Okay! Oh, shit. Okay, I think she's done. Oswin kneels over the body of the wraith and begins to weep. As a soft rain falls on the village square, you quietly leave the man to his grief. A tale of love concludes with death. As they ever do. That wasn't nice. Well, it was interesting. And that's gonna conclude today's part. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon!